Hello there everyone, this is Brother Birch. In this video we're going to be introducing assignment 1.1. One one. Okay, so I've already logged into the Linux server here and I'm in my folder where I'm putting all of my work for this course. And I'm going to copy our template file. If I type in ls you can see I have my template file right here, nice and easily accessible. So I'm going to say copy template.c++ to, and I'll say assignment 1.1.c++. One one Okay, now if I say ls, you can see I have my next assignment right here, and I'll go ahead and say emacs assignment 11.c++. Okay, there it goes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start off uh, this just like every other one. I'm going to say which assignment it is, so I'm going to hit control K right now to delete the rest of that line. Say assignment 11.c++. One one. And we're going to call this monthly budget. And then here, put the name of the instructor. And then your name goes here. All right, and then we'll do a brief description of what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and delete some of these lines. And let's take a look at this. So write a program to output your monthly budget. Example. So this is all we're going to do, okay? We just have to output that. We don't have to take in any data or anything like that. We're just going to run the program, and that is what it's going to output, all right? So I'll just say uh, program to output budget with multiple sections and multiple rows, all right? For this, I'll say maybe half an hour to do this, and then I'll go ahead and hit control xs to save it and control xc to come out of here and then i'll say g plus plus assignment on one dot c plus plus to compile it and then let's go ahead and run it all right we don't have any errors which means we're good to go here a couple of things that i wanted to point out here to you so there's a single tab at the start of each line but nowhere else okay so that'll be good to remember when we're printing this stuff out with uh, the console output command uh 13 Equal signs, I didn't realize that this tip was there the first time that I did it. I counted these before I saw that. But there are 13 here, and then 10 in the second to help you with your spacing, with two spaces between. Uh, and then format the prices with the precision command. Okay, so if I were you guys, I'm just going to duplicate this real quick. And uh, I'm just going to type in precision. All right, so this is shortly before that assignment prompt you can see how this example in our book was able to do pretty much what we're going to need multiple times in our program. Okay, uh, There's also set width to be able to decide what width we're going to do. So if we had like a tab in here or something like that, that might be helpful. Okay, And then we have this precision to uh, you know, make it have this kind of an output. All right, so I would recommend uh, that you go back into your chapter before looking at this and look at some of these look at some of these examples and see how they did different things like that and then mess around with it you know once you have this let's say that's my first column what could I add to that to you know add some space add some equal signs add another column like this you know you know how might that look if I just took this and copied it over here at the end you know so go ahead and give give us give a stab at that. And uh, if you have any questions before you get finished, just let me know. Uh, but I hope that this video is helpful in, in at least getting you started.